In 1967, something was created called the Clergy Consultation Service on Abortion. 21 ministers, 19 ministers and two rabbis in New York said that they would start a service uh, for women and they published it on the front page of the New York Times. Uh, and they uh, professed to do this even though abortion was a crime. But they had found some doctors who would do the abortions. They didn't have to tell me why they wanted an abortion. They only had to tell me that no one was making them do it. If they could tell me that, then I would give them the number of the doctors. There were a couple of doctors by then who would do the abortions and they would meet. Uh, we, we knew we were vulnerable if the uh, if a district attorney wanted to charge us or get after us, they could have sent a policewoman in, you know, and taped us and everything. But they didn't want to intrude. It was a little dicey to, to intrude on a meeting between a minister and a woman seeking advice. You know, that was a real intrusion. So uh, there were 1,400 ministers and rabbis across the country doing this work, and only one of them was ever arrested, and he never went to trial. It was a great movement. Uh, it referred thousands and thousands of women.